Welcome friends, welcome to step by step tutorials. I am here with a new video. I will uh, start with a new playlist and that playlist will include the material characterization techniques. My first priority technique will be thermal analysis. I will make a playlist of thermal analysis, that water thermal analysis, how we can analyze a material through thermoanalytical techniques and what are the types of thermal analytical techniques. So when we will cover this thermal analysis topic in number of videos. So in this video, we will first see how that how we can def define thermal analysis. What is sample? What is temperature regime? What will be the pressure and sample environment? Finally, property that can be made through thermal analysis and types of thermoanalytical techniques. So, first of all, how we can define thermal analysis? So, thermal analysis is the measurement of a sample as a sample is programmed through a predetermined temperature regime in a specified atmosphere. Means that we will give some specified atmosphere to the sample and then we will apply a certain thermodynamic regime and inside that thermodynamic regime we will analyze sample its properties its different characteristics in their specific regime and environment so what will be the sample sample may be a solid thing maybe a solid thing a solid sample that we have prepared inside our laboratory and now we we want to understand that what are the thermal properties of this specific material or what are the electrical properties or magnetic property subjected to a certain specific temperature regime or even mechanical properties subjected to a specific thermal regime so it may be a liquid uh, so during the process of thermoanalytical techniques the solid or liquid may change into a gaseous form and their mass may change, their composition may change, their dimensions may change, their electrical, mechanical, optical or acoustic properties may change, they may release some particulates. There can, there can be many phenomena that can happen with these two types of samples. So, once again, what do we mean by sample? Sample is anything that is under observation inside a thermoanalytical technique. So that thing may be in a solid form or in a liquid form. After the application of a thermal regime, it may change into the gaseous form. So what is a temperature gene that is controlled at, at a specified heating rate? It means that you will give some specific heating rate to the sample. For example, if you want to increase the temperature from room temperature to let's suppose 100 degrees centigrade or 150 degrees centigrade by 2 degrees per minute means that after each minute 2 degree rise in temperature will occur. For example, in initial you have the room temperature of 25 degrees centigrade after two minutes the temperature increase to 27 and then 29 and so on so this is a specified heating rate so control and specified there are some specific control and you have some specified rate of temperature similarly it this rate can be a decreasing one or increasing one. For example, you have raised the temperature to 150 degrees centigrade. After that, you want to bring it back to the room temperature once again by same rate. That is, you decrease the temperature by 2 degrees centigrade in each minute. That is, after one minute, for, for example, first you have reached the temperature to 150 degrees centigrade. And then, then after each minute, the temperature will be decreased by 2 degrees centigrade. So this is our temperature. 
specified heating rate and control rate or the next scenario that can happen in a temperature regime is that temperature jumps to some specific temperature you jump to some specific temperature immediately and then it is held at that specific temperature for example you specific your required temperature for the analysis is 150 degrees centigrade but initially your room temperature is 25 degrees centigrade so you give or just quick run to the setup to raise the temperature to 150 degrees centigrade after you achieve 150 degrees centigrade then you hold the temperature at that 150 degrees centigrade for example you want to analyze a sample at 150 centigrade for one hour so what will you do you will just jump from 25 degree centigrade to 150 centigrade by jump we say that we give a quick run to the sample temperature we do not increase it at some specific heating rate we just give it a quick run and treat this temperature to 150 degree centigrade after that 150 degree centigrade is achieved the sample is allowed to to stay at that specific temperature which is our required one or uh, there is another thing that can happen that is isothermal run with temperature is quickly brought to a predetermined temperature and then hold for a uh, for the remainder of the experiment and this is isothermal one that you give an isothermal run to uh, some specific uh, temp uh, sample and then reach to the predetermined temperature and then hold it for that uh, at that temperature for the remainder experiment. So, what will the pressure inside a uh, thermonetical technique? So, pressure inside thermonetical technique can be raised can be varied from the vacuum to the some atmosphere some multiples of the one atmosphere pressure so that can be uh, raised from for example initially you have a vacuum you can analyze a material inside a vacuum or you can analyze a temperature at a room or at a at a one atmosphere pressure or you can analyze the temperature at multiple of one atmosphere pressure these are the different scenarios that we can weigh it. I mean that pressure is a variable that can be pressure is a variable in this whole process. So, what is atmosphere inside a machine of thermodynamical analysis? So that atmosphere is a gaseous one and that may be stable or dynamic. Dynamic or stable. So, by stable we mean that the atmosphere do not change throughout the experiment. While in dynamic, we say that there is a gas flow over the center. In that specific case, the atmosphere may be oxidative, that means air or oxygen or inert helium argon or nitrogen environment. So, what type of properties we can measure in these thermodynamical techniques that are simple mass, enthalpy change during this process, energy input or output during this thermodynamical analysis, materials nature and composition, phase properties, and further we have that mechanical stability during this thermodynamic the thermodynamical process thermal expansion coefficient electrical or magnetic properties as a function of temperature electrical or magnetic properties as a function of temperature temperature and heat of the phase transition heat capacity glass transition point thermal stability purity these are the main types 
these are the main properties which can be measured during the thermoanalytical techniques. Inshallah, in the future, we will go in detail on the each and every property. So, there are different types of thermoanalytical techniques. In this specific video, I will only name these specific types or different types of the thermoanalytical techniques. Inshallah, in next video, we will go to the definitions of all these types. So, first type is the thermogrammetry and derived to thermogrammetry isobaric mass change determination technique evolved gas detection evolved gas analysis emanation thermal analysis thermoparticulate analysis heating curve determination heating rate curves inverse heating rate curves differential thermal analysis differential scanning calorimetry thermodilatometry Thermomechanical analysis, dynamic thermomechanometry, thermosonometry, thermoacostimetry, thermoptometry, thermoelectrometry, thermomagnetometry, 